this was a secular nation. That was a great nation. testimony by Amida. Thank you. I want to remind everyone to take selfies of yourself, post it on Facebook or Twitter, let them know that you are at the March Against Sharia, March for Human Rights. Moreover, if you're not a member for Acts for America, I want you to sign up as an activist or join as a member. Also, if you're not registered to vote, go ahead and do that as well. So next we have up speaking is Andy. Is Andy around? Under, under God was added in the 50s. Under God wasn't always there. We're supposed to be a secular nation. You know what? Pause. I'm not going to argue with you over here if you don't want to believe it. Hey, well, the, the reason why I'm saying this is this was supposed to be something just talking about Sharia, not talking about promoting Christianity over all other religions. If you're going to promote Christianity over other religions, then it's no better than what Sharia is trying to do. No, we we are we are a sec we we are a nation of secular laws. It, constitutionally, there's supposed they to be separation of church and state. So I was just, you know, I, I, I came, I came to this in hopes that they would be just talking about against Sharia, and then it turns around and it becomes dominionism and, and reconstructionism, the same sort of stuff you hear coming from Pat Robertson. That's not. I mean, I understand that statistically we're a Christian nation, right? Statistically. But laws were supposed to be secular. And so when we start saying under God, everyone under God, under God was added to the pledge in the 50s. So, yeah, so, so this is a, a permanent Okay. Uh, what, uh, if you want to help us fight for the freedom, what, for what reason? Join us at Act for because America. this is a Go private, private this a permanent event. Also, don't forget, October 2 to 3, we're having a national conference united against terror in Washington, D.C. So, so I have to agree with Christian fundamentalism or, or shut up. I wasn't shouting. I'm shouting now because that's the only way we can hear each other. So why are you over here? Because I wanted to address the fact that she kept going about under God, and this is not supposed to be an event. It's not supposed to be a Christian event. It's supposed to be against Sharia. It is against Sharia, and it's a private event, so we have a private permit. So if you cause a problem, so we can talk about whatever we want. This is a private right. permit. So well, if there's a problem, we'll have to leave. I understand now. So, All right, next the, we're the, be so free, free, no, no, free, free speech isn't freedom. allowed under your under your premise. Sure it is. And once again, but, you know, like to welcome but coming up and con confronting more. somebody and getting in their face isn't. I, I just said that, that I just said I came up to her and said that under God was added into the pledge app in the 50s. That's all I came here up here to say. Okay, but you didn't say anything. That's all you did is come to say it. That's that's all that's all I did was come up here to say it. That's all I'm all I'm doing. All right, well, this event, it turned out to be the exact type of thing I thought it was going to be. It's a bunch of uh, Christian fundamentalist religious types that think that uh, we should, you know, they're angry at Sharia, but let's, let's promote the Christian Sharia. Let's promote the Bible and state that the United States was founded on Christian principles. No, you know, this, this, this event, the premise of this event is a lie. It is a lie. If they were just against Sharia, they would have been just speaking against Sharia. Not all this, this uh, under God stuff, not all this God bless America. That's one religion fighting another. So...
culture of Western civilization. We don't like what we did 500 years ago. Or maybe 500 years ago, we were animals. We were. I don't know about this. I think it's a good step in the right direction. Yes. Wait, do you want to do you want to pander to Michael Brown's mom and have her up on the stage of DNC? Hillary Clinton had five of these like mothers of the movement. These are mothers of thugs who got killed for fighting their people who are trying to help them. You're supposed to be the party of inclusivity. This guy is called Uncle Tom because he's in pink like all the rest of them. What the fuck is that? That's identity politics. I got called Goon a couple times walking through the crowd. Who's double up your left with the race? You were talking about how the race starts. And I'm not going to lump you in with that. That's not fair. But you're here apologizing for what we're arguing. And I think we might disagree on what we're arguing. You think we're here against an entire religion. That's not true. We're here against a small contingent of a religion. But even that small contingent makes them a large Proving that they were just proving that up on the stage. Yeah, no, I, going, going on. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, she, yeah, she was, she was going on about, uh, oh, uh, 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 under God, everyone, yeah. under God. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's 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 replace one thing that we're scared of not of happening that has no chance of happening with with something with very, something that's very much like happening the vice, now. The vice president. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. And and it's pluralism or nothing, right? You can't have one or the other. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Hey, have a good one, man. I just can't get by. What are the signs? There's a guy that basically says that.
is, the point is, I'm not waiting until things get as bad as it is in, say, Sweden, Germany, and then they might quit with blue in the UK. The point is to say, if we open up and we let all of these refugees come in here, and the, and the difference between refugees and people that want to immigrate to a country is people are seeking out to immigrate to that country because they, 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 they see something there that they want. They, the Western cultural values. They want to come here, they want to assimilate, they want to be a part of the, the culture. When we have refugees, they're just being pushed out, they're going into anywhere they can go with those handouts. Yeah, but how do we know that the refugees don't want those things, the, the things that, that most other people coming here want? Exactly. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. They, I'm not saying that on a whole that they don't. I'm saying, I, I don't, I'm saying on the whole that they don't. I'm saying, yeah, of course, there's enclaves and small percentages that do. But when you look at people that are being pushed out for war times and they're not willingly coming to a country, they're not trying to assimilate. They're trying to bring their culture to this place. That actually supports his point because how do you know what they believe? You don't know. Yeah, but that but that goes for anyone coming here, though. That goes for anyone. That's why coming. we should check everyone coming here. But we do. We already have a vetting process. How do you know it works? How? Are, where are you getting the idea that it doesn't? Check your research. Look at statistics on percentages of Muslims that are in Sharia law. Do we have it? Yeah. Um, a part of the vetting process that screens people for if their values are compatible with what we have here? The thing is, there's a there's a there's a lot of people here who already uh, there are there are cultures that form here by itself that already kind of go against our values and they're they're home they're homegrown. So why don't we do it? The thing is, it's 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 just as likely it's just as likely that we'll have that the people that are coming here there's. When people are, are trying to escape a terrible life, then it's kind of unlikely that the people there are going to want to make the country just as shitty as the place they came from. They don't think of it as making it shitty because they have completely different systems of knowledge. But when you talk to the people that live there, a lot of them say it's shitty. Most of them say it's shitty. Most of the ones that want to escape don't want don't want that life. But a lot of them don't say that Syria is shitty. You can look at your research and well, look at surveys. Well, one of the, there's there's another thing to this too and there are indeed a lot of really fucked up things about Sharia right but there are some but there are, but there are some things that are harmless about Sharia there are some things oh wash some, you know they have this thing they want to wash their feet after certain things they have they have certain they have certain uh, uh, what do you call it not procedure but certain things that they go through motions they go through and stuff that's and so when some when some people say they support Sharia, they're not necessarily meaning they support those awful things. Yeah, and we had a Muslim woman on this side who says she's a like reformist Muslim or something. So yeah, I'm sure there's people like that. We're not saying all Muslims are horrible people. We're but what, what kind of what kind of vetting process do you think people should go through that already goes beyond what we have now? It's hard to give exact specifications, but we need a vetting that's strict enough to filter out people who have values that are incompatible with our culture. And in addition, we also need to regulate the absolute number of people that we're taking because we are always going to have people slip through who can't integrate. And the other thing is, I mean, there's, a lot, of, there's a lot of times where people, there's nothing wrong with the person. There's nothing wrong with the individual. But if you have too many of them coming in, too large of an influx at the same time. Oh, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I think we should probably slow down immigration in general. But, but yeah. when there is a when there is a, a a refugee crisis of sorts, I mean, what do you do? You just tell them, oh, well, sorry, you have to stay in the country, or you're going to be killed. Neither choice is, is perfect. It's not. I don't see it as a decision between a great choice and a, a bad choice. I see it as a decision between a very bad choice, which is letting everyone in, and. Um, but but nobody's but nobody's saying just let everyone in without no vetting. With no vetting. They are saying. That. Who? Holding up signs saying open the borders. Yes, but, but but when it comes to those that actually have power, the ones that are able to make laws, I mean, yeah, there's individuals saying things that are that are kind of outrageous, but you find that all over the place. What about when it comes to the, the people that actually make laws? Yeah, sure. Even the ones that do support 
upsetting. What we believe is that the system we have right now is not strong enough. What I personally would support is but may, maybe. I mean, I, I could I could agree with that in the UK. Maybe I could agree with that in parts in parts of Europe, but here in the United States. There's almost no chance of, of Muslims doing even what they've already done in, in parts of Europe. We, we have, Muslims make 0.9% of the population here, and even, and even if, if we have tons of refugees coming in, that's still not going to bring that up to any significant numbers in contrast to the rest of the population. This is a huge country. How so, should we wait until we say we need but what is, what is pointing us to say that we need more? Most of the, 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 the terrorism that's happened has been from people that would have passed any sort of vetting process, and it's been people, exactly. and it's been, and it's been, and it's been. That's 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 why it doesn't make any sense to to, to sit there and uh, the, some of the ways that people are criticizing the the immigration process doesn't make any sense. That's why we need to reduce absolute numbers first of all, since there are people who can see the vetting, and second of all, I believe the immigration system should work in a way that shows a preference to culturally similar countries. I, 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 I can see your point, I can see your point, but I also, I don't see the ways of, uh, any ways of implementing that that will do any good. That won't hurt more people than it helps. That's one of the problems here. But anyway, I, I appreciate the talk. Thank you. I respect you. your opinion. Thank you. Uh,
the bottle? Oh, oh yes, thank you. I, it, it's it's empty, so I was I didn't have a place to put it yet. <laughs> thank you. Let's see if they uh, start violence.
<laughs> Looks like you got it a long time ago. Or I would ask where you got it. <laughs> Actually, it was just uh, a, a year and a half ago, so. I love it. I, cu I cut it off on purpose. At age 53, that's where I'm at. <laughs> and reconstructionist speeches. Network. 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 It's the USA Network. Brought to you by... This guy's uh, jacket needs to have play on tape below it, right?
yes. Well, the buses seem to be running late. Um, the main event seems to be over, but uh, there seem to be a lot of police going up and down the streets, so I think it's kind of moving around, but I'm not going to go looking for it. Um, but yeah, the, the last bus never showed up, and the current bus doesn't seem to be showing up either, so I, <laughs> I hope I can get back. Alright, I'm on the last 3% of the battery on this camera, and I just wanted to say that the event went similar to, I mean, when it comes to the anti-Sharia side, it went similar to what I thought it would. It seemed to be a bunch of uh, Dominionists, Reconstructionists, white supremacists, and people who hate Muslims in general people who wanted to, you know, shove forth that we should uh, have Christianity in, as our laws instead of, uh, you know, secular laws, and they're demanding how terrible it is that Muslims who make 0.9% of the population, you know, that a percentage of those would like to have Sharia in our laws while, you know, the Trump administration can work at having uh, Christianity put into our laws and, you know, give Christians special rights and all that, but... <sighs> yeah, it's filled with those types of people. It, it was pretty typical. And the police handled things very well. Um, and of course, as you saw with some of the footage there, some of the Antifa were we're around trying to declare that uh, the police presence wasn't wanted, and it's like, no, the police presence is the only thing that kept it from becoming violent. So, it was an interesting... It, it was interesting, I'll just leave it there. So, on my way home, as you can see, on the bus, and, uh, yeah.